Word gives you several different ways to add pictures to your documents. You can use your own, or you can search for something in the online picture library, which includes stock photos, clip art, and other graphic resources. In this example, I want to start by adding the company logo to the top margin of the document. The file is already saved to my computer, so inserting it should be pretty easy. Just go to the Insert tab, then click the Pictures command. From here, select the image you want. You may need to navigate to where it's saved on your computer. Then click the Insert button, and it'll be added to your document. Remember, I wanted the image positioned in the very top margin, but watch what happens when I try to move it there using the drag and drop method. It doesn't work because the current text wrapping setting won't allow it. Text wrapping controls the position of the image and the way the rest of your document wraps around it. To move the image freely, we'll need to change the text wrapping setting to something other than the default. First, make sure the image is selected, then look to the Format tab. From here, you can use Position to choose one of the predefined layouts, or you can close the Position menu and try the Wrap Text command if you want a little more control. For a convenient shortcut, you can even access some of these options from the Layout button here. These four options are a good choice if the picture is in the main part of your document, for example next to an article. We'll take another look at them at the end of this video. This time, I'm going to choose in front of text, so I can move the image around wherever I want. Just drag and drop the image wherever you want it to go. You can even use the arrow keys on your keyboard to gently nudge it into place. And there, I think that looks good. Now, if you find yourself in a situation where you'd like to add a picture, but you don't have anything suitable of your own, that's okay. Word gives you access to thousands of images from other sources online. All you have to do is go to the Insert tab and click the Online Pictures command. From here, you can use Bing to search the web for stock photos, clip art, and other graphics, or you can access images from your OneDrive account if you have any stored there. You can also just browse the image categories if you need any ideas. Let's try a web search. Just type your search term in the box, then press Enter on your keyboard. By default, Bing only shows images that are licensed under Creative Commons, which means it's okay to use them in your own projects. Just to be safe though, you should check the image's website to make sure there aren't any restrictions. To find that website, click the icon in the bottom right corner of an image, and follow the link you see here. This image looks good and should be perfect for the newsletter I'm working on. To insert it, I'm going to click the thumbnail, then the Insert button, and it will be added to the document. To change the size of an image, all you have to do is click and drag the sizing handles here. You may also have to hold the Shift key to keep the same proportions. Now we can adjust our text wrapping settings. Again, make sure the image is selected, then click the Wrap Text command on the Format tab. This time, I want something that'll place the image not behind or in front of the text, but positioned alongside it. As you can see from the preview, square would be a good choice. So would the tight option, which causes the text to sort of hug the image if the image has a transparent background. I think I'm going to go with tight, and then move the picture to the right side of the article. Whether you have your own pictures or you found something in the online collection, the right imagery can really make your document pop. Now you know a few different ways to add and position images, so you get the right combination of pictures and text.